Welcome to Hamster POS Software Training. Double click on the software icon to open it. If you have multiple databases, you are required to choose one and click OK. The login screen will show up. Each user will have a password assigned because we will be giving each user the privileges and accesses we deem appropriate. When they enter their password, they will use the software through their user profile. We have logged in. The pending tickets will appear. The pending tickets are the ones we have made and put on hold by clicking on new, they are automatically put in the list panel. This is a feature that is used when a customer, whose order we are working on, has to leave for a short while and we have to move to another customer without losing the previous order. We put their order on hold. Click on the three bars on the top left of the screen in order to open all of Hamster POS software menus and options. First we have Sales, which is where you manage the sales. In the Point of Sale panel, we have the items for sale, we can search for them, discount them, add attributes and notes to them. We can also see the categories and how the stock is sorted. Each category contains the items that you choose. We have the Customers panel which is where you manage the customers. This is where the customer's information are added and saved. Same thing for the suppliers. Everyone you buy stocks from should be registered in the suppliers section. In the stock panel, we can manage all of the stock a business has. This is how we can keep track of items bought or used or the ones that remain in stock. We do that through a detailed registration of all the latter in our system. Now, we are going to talk about all the options offered. When we click on Sales, we get the Point of Sale panel. It can be open in two ways. It can either show you this panel for retail businesses, where your items are configured, or, if it's a restaurant for example, and it has seating tables, it will show you the tables registered and their status. Within the retail model, there is all the main categories on top. For each one, you can create subcategories and items, and also, add subcategories and items within the subcategories. The delete button on the top left, erases an items line. If we choose three items, select one and click on delete, you will erase the item. If we want to disable the delete button, we open the menus and go into the configurations panel. Click on more to access this panel. You can add a pin to the user. In the delete ticket option, you can change the command before or after it is sent to the kitchen. Some restaurants allow the user to delete an item if it hasn't been sent to the kitchen yet without asking for additional security pins. If there is a need to delete an item after it was sent, and in its preparation phase, they should notify the kitchen that the item is void. The user will not be allowed to delete the ticket because it jeopardizes the business's accounts with its employees. For example, it could cover up an employee's theft. Back in the sales panel, you also have the search button. When you click on it, you can search for your item through its barcode, SKU, name, category, or by price. When we click on execute, we will receive all of our registered products. We choose our product, click the check button and it will show up in our order. The edit button is useful when you want to edit the line. Click on Edit, in the panel, you will receive all the information regarding the item. You can edit the number of the item's units, its price. You can make the item worth $20 instead of 9 Press the Check button. The item's price and units have been visibly edited. This is how you edit an item only once. Imagine we want to make edits to an item that won't be applied only once, but every time this item is ordered. For example, this is where we have our edited bruschetta pomodoro. When we add it again from out list of items, we get it with its original and unedited pricing. If we want our edits to be permanent, we need to alter settings in our configuration menu. In order to do that, we go into the configurations menu, then we go into the system panel. This is where we check the box next to allow price updates. After making changes in the configurations menu, we will have to save every time and then restart the software. The software will now apply the edits of an item to each order in which it is made. Let's talk about attributes. 
Attributes are the modifications sent to the kitchen. If we select the burrata pizza, we click in attributes and specify that we want it to have a thin crust. It will show up in the orders section. The same will show up when it is sent to the kitchen. When it comes to the notes option, the notes are the general comments that we want to send to the kitchen. We can send it to the kitchen printer of our choosing or we can send it to all the kitchen's printers in case it is a note meant to be seen by everyone in the kitchen. In this case, we will select printer 2. Write down the note and click on send note only. Once that is done, the note would have been sent to the kitchen. Now we move to the discount option. In the discount panel, we can choose between four types of discount which are the line percentage, total percentage, line amount and total amount. What is the difference between them? The line percentage discount is placed on one item's line and removes a percentage of the price. The total percentage removes the percentage off of the order's total price. The line amount discount removes a specific amount from one item's line, for example, if you select line amount, click on 1, the item will remove $1 off of the original price. The total amount discount is when you wish to remove a specific amount off the order's total price, for example, if you want the total of this ticket to amount to $20, you will have to remove 4. Let us show you how you make a discount. If we want to make a line discount on an item, click on 2, then on discount and select line amount. We will get the discount. Click on clear to remove the discount. Now, if we want to discount the total amount by $4, click on 4, then on discount, then on total amount and you will get $4 reduced off of the total amount. Click on clear to remove the discount. If we want to make a percentage discount, we click on 20, then on discount, and then select the total percentage to make the discount on the whole bill. Click on clear to remove the discount. If we want to make a percentage discount on the burrata alone, type in 20, then click on discount, and select line percentage. This item does not have a discount. We are now done with this ticket, we click on new to open a new one. The last one can be accessed in the list panel. Click on delete in the bottom left corner to delete the ticket. Click on print receipt for a print preview, in case you want to print the bill for the customer, and once paid, you can close the ticket. Click on pay to close the ticket which would mean that the account was settled. The ticket will be closed and gone, and the amount sold would show up in the stock menu. It will also be included in the close cash. The send to kitchen option is for when you have multiple printers and you want to send your order to the kitchen. Here's how you manage the latter in the configuration menu. Go into configurations, then peripherals, the printers will show up. We can assign each printer to its device which should be configured on the system. Choose the different printers. Then go into the stock menu and into the products menu. We can assign each item to be printed out on a specific printer or we can assign an item to multiple printers. This item will be printed out on printer 2 and 5.